And we'll sit here and fight it out. There we go. Yeah. All right. That's pretty cool, man. We didn't even have to really heal. What's up, my doomed friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Last Day on Earth Survival. All right. Last video, we did the new ship event. I've got some things to talk about that as we go through floor three. Um, and today, well, we're going to go through floor three. We're going to finish up the bunker, and we're going to hopefully get enough red coupons. And with any luck at all, maybe get the gas tank. Probably not, but we'll see. All right, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So, let's talk about the event. Okay, let's talk about the event. All right, a lot of people were very... Not a lot of people, but some people were very upset... That I was playing like such a noob during the event. Now, here's the thing, guys. All right. It was my first time through the event. I barely had time to do any research on it. I kind of just wanted to go through the event um, for the first time successfully. And I didn't want to have any issues. So what I did was I brought in more guns and more items than I knew I was going to need um, on purpose. And I, I did that because I wanted to make sure I... I did that because I wanted to make sure I finished the event for you guys, right? All right, right. So I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the beginning of the video. I don't know if anyone was listening or or uh, what the deal was with that. But, um, yeah, apparently uh, people didn't get it. But, yeah, I, I, I wanted to finish the event come hell or high water. I didn't care if I used a lot of guns. I've got a lot of guns. Um, so I just, wanted to, I just wanted to use a bunch of guns and get through the event, okay? That's all. So that's why I, I uh, was playing, quote unquote, like a noob. Um, you know, I, I mentioned in the beginning, but I'm guessing some people didn't get it. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, as I go back to the event, I've done some research on it. And when I go back to the event, I'm going to use less and less items now. Um, because now I know how to. All right. Uh, this is going to be a bit of an issue here. Uh, well, I kind of want to use this up. But at the same time, yeah, I'll use it up. I'll use it up some other time. Let's, um, let's use well, my weapon of choice. Let's use a machete. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do the event again and we'll go through it and we'll, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do to kind of, you know, uh, not use as many items. I, I, like I said, I've been doing some research on it. Um, I tend not to like blatantly like follow, um, people when I do research, like I'll do research on an event and someone much with much higher skill level than me will clear an event with like nothing more than a, a toothbrush and a clothes and a, you know, clothes hanger. And they're like super badass, and I'm just like a regular guy. So, um, a lot of times I don't like. You know, when I blindly follow people like that, um, I end up getting myself killed. <laughs> so, uh, but I did look at the event and um, it did look, it did look a lot easier than I thought. I think I could do it with probably a pistol and uh, probably a melee weapon or something uh, like that. Should not be uh, too much of a problem to uh, finish the event with uh, minimal of items. Uh, let's use this. There we go. Alright, so yeah, so basically, what I'm trying to say is next time I do the event, I'm going to do it with a, hopefully a pistol, and maybe, I'll probably bring two pistols just for backup, and uh, maybe just like a melee weapon or something, just uh, just some basic stuff, and uh, a couple melee weapons, um, because like I'm not as good as a lot of these other people that you watch play, um, but I know I can do it with a lot less guns than I spent. Um, I got to use the barrels more. There's a way you can make the, the big case fall on the zombies' heads, which is pretty funny. Um, so I'm hoping, honestly, guys, I'm hoping next video we could do the uh, we could do the ship event again. I don't know how often it comes in, though, so we'll have to wait and see about that. Killing these giants with the guns is so much more fun. Like, uh, someone was asking me in the comments, well, if you go through and kill all the giants with the guns, will you make more guns in the run than you use on the giants? Um, and the answer is, I don't know. It's, it's actually probably pretty close. If you use bows on the turrets, you can kill both turrets with one bow and a little bit of gunfire. It took me a little bit of gunfire to kill the, to finish off the last turret. Um, so honestly, I'm not really sure. It's, it's probably pretty close to be perfectly honest. All right, this is going to be a tough fight here, but I have the healing. So the hell with it. Um, I would like to get the, uh, the sneak a shot here though. There we go. All right. So yeah, um how many do you get more guns back? I don't know because you don't get you don't get a red you don't get a red chest every run, right? You're going to get a red chest like every two out of three runs probably. So honestly, I'm not really sure about um about if you could get the uh the guns back completely. I I don't think so. I really don't. But I'm not really sure to be honest. Um I'm sure someone in the comments could let you guys know about that. Um I don't think you do. If I had to guess, I would say no. But it's close, you know. So, and you just use the bows. If you're, if you, I think the person who was talking to me in the comments about it had like two full chests of guns. If you have two full chests of guns, it's per, it's up to you. It's not insane, 
to use those guns. Um, I'm going to just fight like this. It's not insane to use the guns instead of, uh, um, instead of using the bow. I don't think so anyway. Okay, you guys. Come on. I'm going to take care of you first. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not so much that, it's not so much that the bows, like, save you the guns, which they do. The bows absolutely save you the guns, and that's nice. It is, oh, these guys are doing, oh, I was going to say, these guys do 11 damage. That's higher than usual. Well, yeah, it is, because I'm not wearing my, um, my regular gear. There we go. Looking good. Now, if we get hit by one of these giants, we will be killed instantly. So that is a bit of a problem right now. Um, I'm going to put this stuff on just in case I accidentally get hit. So I don't get one-shotted. I'm also going to use the saw blade to um, get the sneak attack because the um, these these freaking skull skull crushers are just they're just they're just too short. Like you get hit a lot. Like I'm pretty sure this guy would hit me if I use the skull crusher. There we go. Oops, trying to shoot him. Let's shoot this guy. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, guys. Who doesn't want to use guns? Guns are freaking awesome. So is this guy going to hit me? I don't know. I don't know if there's any way to tell, honestly. Like, if you get hit by this guy, I don't think it's necessarily your fault. I don't... Like, I think it just depends on how he sets up, you know, the beginning of the map. Ugh, I really don't want this gun to break. Not a problem. I got this. There we go. See, um, the thing with the gun breaking is if it breaks, then you can't take it, you can't take it apart for parts. So, and, uh, we are actually out of guns now, so I'm gonna go back and get some more guns and, uh, continue killing giants with guns. It's awesome. Killing giants with guns. What good fun. All right, guys, we're back and ready to smack down some more giants. Oh, this is so good. So good. Absolutely love using the guns against giants. It's a breath of fresh air. It breathes life back into the bunker. It kind of, you know has been bad in the bunker as far as me getting what I need for, for the, um, for the chopper. But, you know, being able to use guns kind of, you know, makes that a little, a little more palatable, right? I mean, all right. So we do have a different set of armor here. This is a tier two upgraded armor. It's, um, well, this is 20 and I think this is what, 24. Yeah. So this is almost as good as the tier two armor, by the way. Um, when I when I started this run, I started with this uh, tactical armor, right? So I'm probably going to use, I think with this run, I'm going to use one set of tactical, one set of tier two, one set of tier two upgraded. Should be pretty fun. All right. So we're going to, um, I want to save these bandages for the time being. Well, actually, do I want to save them? Nah, I don't think I want to save them. I'm going to use them now. The hell with it. Okay. Can't one shot. You can't uh, sneak attack these guys. So the hell with it. Let's just go in there with the shovel. I like using the shovel because it's uh, it's actually cheaper to make than the uh, than the spike devastator. So it's actually going to be my go-to now for fighting e uh, easy zombies in here. Um, instead of using the spike devastator. All right, so we're gonna have a big guy right here. We'll use this against him. Right weapon for the right job. Now can we sneak attack this guy? I don't think we can. I'm pretty sure we can't. I think I've tried a couple times and failed. Failed miserably. All right, so instead of doing 11 damage, he's doing 10, 9 damage. So if you're wearing tactical armor, he does 8 damage. If you're wearing tier 2, he only does 9 damage. I don't know if you even need tactical armor for this uh, uh, for this area anymore, right? I mean, I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think? What is What would it take me to get a full set of tier 2 uh, armor? Uh, all right, so that's almost nothing. That's just a little bit of leather. It's pretty. It's kind of expensive on the leather. Right here, we're going to use a little bit more leather and a bit of iron. And if we crafted this stuff, you know what I think I'm going to start doing? I think I'm going to start hold. Basically, what I'm going to do is some people have mentioned this in the past, and I never did it, but I think I'm going to start when my tier two armor starts getting close to being broken. Instead of just breaking it, I think I'm just going to upgrade it. There's no reason not to. It goes from, you know, almost broken to fully repaired when you upgrade it. So I think I'm going to start upgrading that stuff. Because honestly, I think you could probably get through this with a full set of tier 2 um, armor. I don't even think you need tactical. Uh, so that would be a pretty sweet. Okay, so we're going to use the rest of this pistol. Then we'll switch to the AK. So let's take out... Oh, hold on. Let's loot this guy before we forget. Red ticket. Glad I looted him. Alright, so we're going to sneak attack this clown. And then we're going to blast him with a Glock. There we go. Blast him. Blast him. 
Blast him with a Glock. Down you go, my friend. I wonder if you could survive a shot from a giant in the in the tier two upgraded armor. That would be that would be a good thing to know. All right, so we're just gonna kind of hit him a couple times, switch to this, and finish him off with this thing. All right, suck it, giant. Okay, now we got another giant down here. We gotta turn off the laser fences first. Got another giant down here. We got this giant. Then we got the big room. And then just a little, little, couple little rooms, one more giant, and then the, and another giant, and then the, the last room at the end. Should be a piece of cake. Well, I shouldn't say that, but what could go wrong? Yeah, it's uh, just begging for uh, trouble at that point. All right, down you go. I wonder, let me know in the comments, guys, how many people are pissed off that I'm using the gun instead of a bow? I'm just kind of curious, you know? I mean... Not that it really matters. I'm just, I'm just simply curious. Uh, I'm wondering who is getting aggravated by <laughs> me using this. I mean, probably a few people. All right. So yeah, we're gonna. Okay. So we're gonna use this right here. We're gonna sneak attack this asshole. Um, listen to me cursing. All right. We're gonna sneak attack you and then finish you. Now we're gonna have two guys beating on us and uh, we're just gonna be watch our hit points. He's dead. Let's kill the spitter. Let's remember to heal. I almost forgot to heal there. By the way, um, not really sure how I'd forget to heal. But, oh god, the weapon's broke. Okay, well that's fine. So we're gonna come up here. What are we gonna switch to? It doesn't really matter. Uh, switch to this. There we go. Alright, we'll heal again. I usually like to heal about 30%. I know it, I don't need to heal that early, but it's just the way I like to... It's the way I roll, you know? Alright, so we're gonna want full gear for this next room. This next room is probably the hardest room in... E it's probably the hardest room in all of Alpha Bunker. Uh, floor 2 or 3. Um, so this is the room we're going to use this for. And I actually like to use regular bandages for this room as well, uh, because it gives me a little more flexibility. All right. Uh, I'd like to kill not a toxic abomination. Can I get a spinner? Nah, it's going to have to be a toxic abomination. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nail him and I'm going to run back and I want the spitters to get to me first, right? There we go. Now, the spitters are away from the Toxic Abominations. That's exactly what I wanted. And, well, there's one that's pretty fast. Oh, come on, man. Why didn't you attack? I pressed the button. You guys could easily see that I pressed the button there, right? All right. Come on, buddy. All right. And there we go. Okay. And we'll sit here and fight it out. There we go. Yeah. All right. That's pretty cool, man. We didn't even have to really heal. That, that's awesome. That is awesome. Now we just get all of the wonderful, wonderful tickets on the way back. Come on. Give me some red tickets. Yellow tickets are good, too. But I really want some red tickets. I think I have 16 red tickets right now. I I think there's a chance I'm not going to get enough red tickets for the, uh, uh, for the big chest, which is kind of disappointing. Kind of really disappointing. All right, we should be able to get a good old sneak attack here if we hug this wall enough. Yep, there we go. Beautiful sneak attack. And this thing's going to break, so now we got to run away a little bit. And let's use this and press F for auto attack. And there we go. Yeah, we're trying to break the we're trying to break the weapons that are low on, you know, durability already, so he can hit me one more time. All right, whatever, I'll just use it. I was going to let him hit me one more time, but since he's dead, screw it. All right, there we go. And then we kill this clown. Just like this. And then we have uh, two more giants to kill. And that's it for the giants in this place. Hopefully they both drop red tickets. Okay. This thing's done. I don't really need... I don't need a machete with one attack left on it, right? Uh, so we got a giant. I don't think we could sneak attack this giant, and I don't think we... Oh, yeah, we have the guns to finish them. Never mind. All right, so this gun is modded, so I can let it break without any issues. So that is really nice, because you can't take apart modded guns. Okay, weapon broke. That's fine. And you're dead. I should probably start keeping track of, uh... Um, how many weapons I use in these zones. I, you know, I don't pay attention to it, so... But it's kind of hard to, because a lot of them are damaged, so it's like I'd have to remember, like, oh, this is this one's only half hit points, and this one's got this, and this one's got that. 
you know, be kind of uh, it'd be kind of annoying to keep track of that. All right, so we're gonna come right over here, finish this guy, and we are just about done here. You're dead. I'll just use the uh, shovel on this toxic abomination because why not? There you go. Go ahead and use that. Hit him with that shovel. Get him. Get him with that shovel. My gear should be breaking any second now, too. Okay. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's hanging in there, man. I'm surprised at how well it's hanging in there. All right. So we're just going to oh, kill this guy with the shovel, too. All right. So we got to open this with this. Kill this guy with the shovel. Kill the giant. Kill all the little green guys in there. We're done. All right. We got to try and get this one guy alone. There we go. Auto attack. Uh, will the shovel hang out, uh, finish up for this battle? It probably should. Uh, my gear should be breaking any second now. Hit me one more time. That's good. We got to heal. And there we go. We'll punch you to finish you off. Okay. Oh, come on. Where's all the red tickets, man? Uh, will this be enough for that giant? I think it will because we're actually going to sneak attack him first. Um, we're going to put on this gear now. This uh, These bottom three are already broken, so I'm going to... Uh, yeah, we can't upgrade these, so I'm just gonna de I'm gonna delete these. These are only good for a couple more hits, and I don't want my armor breaking in the middle of combat. So, all right, so let's uh, let's sneak attack this guy and finish him off with the gun, and then we'll take out all those uh, all those sp uh, spitters in there. Okay, you're good. Uh, what do I want to take him out with? Let's take him out the machete. There we go. We'll heal with uh, we'll heal with this actually. There we go. Auto attack. There we go. So they're going to knock us down pretty quickly. There we go. Armor's breaking. That is fine by me. Um, one more full heal should be good. And there we go. All right, cool. All right, let me get naked, guys, and we're going to loot this place. All right, guys, clear this place out. Now, I am sitting at... Uh, I, the tickets are up top, but I'm sitting at 10 red tickets. All of floor two, and I killed everything on floor three, and only ten red tickets. <laughs> oh boy, I'm I'm gonna assume that's bad luck. I'm gonna assume it's bad luck, and it's not gonna be like that next time. Um, I'm kind of nervous that they nerfed the red tickets. Well, you know, for those of you who are still doing Alpha Bunker, what has been your experience with the red tickets in Alpha Bunker? All right, I'm sitting at eleven now, so. Um, my lowest amount of red tickets was 17. I don't think I'm making 17 on this run. So, man, if they start, like, if you start getting, like, 15 red tickets per run, that's, that's, uh, we're already not getting our, our, um, our gas tank. Why would you nerf that, you know? Like, there's so many people out there that are not getting their gas tank. I mean, if it's been nerfed, I'm, again, I will, you know, reiterate, I could just be getting unlucky here. I will admit that. All right. So, you know, we'll see on our next alpha bunker run. But, if they did nerf it, if, that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I'm, uh, maybe there's more in the chests. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe there's more in the chests. I just got two. By the way, if I miss any uh, chests, please just let me know. Wasn't there two gas here last time, by the way? I think they changed that. Um, yeah. Yeah, the gas tank. Oh, boy. But, on a happy note, that boat event is pretty fun. I think the boat event is pretty cool. I will. I I think they should have kept this. I, you guys know how I feel about the smuggler event. They should have kept it. If you had the boat and the smuggler event, it would give something like it would give something to do to people like me who don't have the chopper yet. You know what I mean? So and you can't just say, well, it's the most rare item in the game. It's supposed to be super special. Yeah, I get that, but it's also cutting off a big part of the game for me because I can't get to the new zones uh, because of the, the gen. You should not never have needed the chopper to carry the generator. I think that's, I think the chopper is an excellent item with the chopper event and the fact that you can get around, uh, you can get around more without needing stamina. I think that's two very good, uh, things about the chopper. And I think they could have stopped it there. I think it was a mistake, um, to need the generator to carry the chopper. I think that's where the, I think that's where the, the developers screwed up. Um, you, you cut off a big part of the game, man. There's like whole areas I can't go to because I can't get this super unbelievably rare item. Um, but the game's technically still early access, so that's fine. Um, I'm not, like, upset about it. Hey, guys, if I was upset about it, if I was really upset about it, I wouldn't be playing this game anymore. Um, I really love this game a lot. 
and um, I'm getting a decent amount of red uh, coupons in these chests, but it's not going to make up for uh, the lack of red coupons on the bodies. And in floor two. Um, yeah, so I, I love this game. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't be playing it. It's a, it's a testament to how much I enjoy this game that I'm still playing it with this whole chopper fiasco. <laughs> and I will call it a fiasco because uh, maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just being selfish. Like, I didn't get it, so it's a fiasco. But I see a lot of people in my comments, though, who are having the same issue. So it's not just me. So, anywho, what are you going to do, right? I'm going to keep playing until I don't like the game anymore, and then I'll stop if I end up not liking it. I think the bunker's still fun, and it's a lot more fun using guns. I don't know if anyone's going to be upset that I'm using guns. Um, to be perfectly honest, I don't really care. I've got about... F I've got, like, three full chests of guns, maybe even four. You know, what am I... I mean... You know, I mean, what the hell do I need them for? You know? Oh, you might need them for the new zones. What? When I get the chopper that I'm never going to get? <laughs> Excuse me for the coughing. Um, I, I normally like to mute my uh, mic when I cough, but um, sometimes I like to cough so you guys can hear it uh, just to let you know how uh, stressed my voice is right now from being um, sick. I'm not sick anymore, but, you know, I have done, I've done like seven videos in the past two days. And uh, it's, um, it's quite a challenge here. It's quite a challenge. All right, so it looks like this right here is going to be my drop chest. I probably won't come back for it, to be perfectly honest. I've stopped, like, collecting stuff. I've got, like, four stacks of batteries, four stacks of this, four stacks of that. Like, what the hell do I need with all this stuff? I will take the wrench, though. I don't need paint. I'm not going to paint my chest, and I'm never going to get the chopper. I don't need batteries because I've already got four stacks. Uh, I don't need flashlights. I've already got a ton of flashlights. Um, probably don't need the wiring, but it's a little bit more useful. I'm going to take this and this. And uh, I'm not going to make a second run down here unless I get some really, really good items. Uh, but if I just get like stuff like light bulbs and stuff, I'm, I'm not coming back down. Um, I don't care about that. Um, I've already got more health kits than I know what to do with. And I'm sitting at 15 red coupons. If I get two more red coupons, I'll be at 17 and that'll equal the lowest amount of red coupons I've ever gotten here. Um, you know, which will be, uh, 17's okay. I guess anything more than 15 is, is good. And I just got my 16th coupon. So anything over 15 is is barely acceptable to me personally. Um, also, I have like five stacks of rubber parts. Do I still need more rubber parts? I don't know. Maybe I do. <laughs> Who knows, right? Who knows what the developer's going to add in? They're going to add in a, something you need. You need 120 rubber parts, you know? Um, you don't know. That's, that's where it's scary. All right. So 16 red coupons. I think I brought six, right? So yeah, there's no way I'm getting a, a red chest today. Oh, that's sad. That is so sad. Uh, let's wear this and take this. All right. So no red chest today. Again, if you don't get the red chest, you've got absolutely zero chance of getting the, uh, the, the, uh, the gas tank. As far as I know, as far as I know, the developer said the only place you can get 17 red coupons. The only place you can get the, um, uh, the only place you can get the, um, uh, the, the gas tank is in the red the red coupon turn in. So uh, I'm not going to get it today for sure because I don't have enough for the red coupon turn in. But I will get a green and yellow coupon turn in. So let me get everything organized. We'll do that and then we'll call it a video. Okay, guys, I ended up on run number five. I've been keeping track on my bunker runs for five bunker runs in a row. Um, I've got 35, 39, and 17 uh, compared to... Now, the 35 is the, f is the highest amount of uh, green coupons I've ever gotten. The 39 is way higher, like the most like crazy highest um amount of yellow coupons i've ever gotten and 17 is tied for the lowest amount of red coupons i've ever gotten okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and turn these in like so 25 uh 13 20 and split five there we go 25 I'll leave the 23 yet red in here because they're not going to be turned in. Um, by the way, I've, ke I've kept track of uh, also how many total coupons I've gotten um, for these runs. And run number one, I got a total of 86 coupons. Run number two, 84 coupons. Run number three, 80 coupons. Run number four, 84 coupons. And run number five, which is this run, I got 91 coupons. It's the most coupons I've ever gotten. So I have a theory that the more green and yellow coupons you get, the less of the other coupons you get. Like, I think there's only a certain amount you can get. And 
if you're getting a lot of yellow and green, I think you're probably going to get less red. That's kind of what I'm seeing now from my numbers. Um, although, I don't know, I could be talking around my ass here. All right, well, we're going to get some guns here, which is nice. We're going to get some armor. So, we've got a pistol there, um, a good set of tier 2 armor. That's pretty good. It's exactly what you get all the time. Um, this one's going to be a little less randomized. we got two rifles, which is really good. So, for this yellow coupon turner, we've got two rifles and a full set of tactical armor. That is awesome. We also have an engine. Now, we're not done with engines, guys. We still need engines for the generator if I ever get the uh, the chopper. We are done with ATV wheels. I've already gotten 16. They're all in the ATV, so that's completely useless. And uh, that's it, guys. So no red coupon turn in. That's a shame. Uh, but we'll definitely have one next time, so that is awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.